Hush, Itumak. We'll just wait a little longer. Easy, Itumak. It's not him. Short version? I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my first clue. But I had to try something. The long version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasitok. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persok. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persok's trail is cold, to say the least. That about sums it up. Then you have my sympathies. Hopefully you've got a better lead than I do. Cute, isn't it? It belonged to Persok. Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. Something to help us find him later. When I left Nasitok, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer to Persok, it's glowed steadily brighter. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Some days it flickers and goes dark. Others it shines nice and bright. For a few hours. But most of the time, it looks just like this. I've heard that one before. Whole reason I'm standing here is because some so-called watcher from Forkedvale told me he could take a look. For a few golden dukes, of course. I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He made a big show of moaning and rolling his eyes, and after I'd given him five golden dukes to lift the shroud, he told me to seek the crossroads in the field between the wolf's lair and the twining trees. He thought he was being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place, right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a friendly warning. Told him I'd come back and leave him with another if it turned out he was giving me the runaround. I've been here a week now. Guess he had the last laugh after all. Why? You expect me to believe that? After the story I just told you? Fine. 
But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. What are you talking about? What just happened? You realize I've got no coin to give you, even if I did believe you. If this is your idea of a joke, you may be stuck with me for a while. Lead the way.